Today we're breaking down the KD3s. Let's go. What's good everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's Zach here with Tamsters Kicks. We're breaking down the Kevin Durant 3s. We got another colorway of the classics. Um, they just released, I think it was like five, six months ago, we had the All-Star Weekend colorway. They had with the Kobe 6, that pack a while ago, but we have a new colorway of the KD3s. These ones are super nice. I played a bunch in those old red ones, and so I wanted to break down these, give a little update on them, because I pooped in them a bunch, that other colorway, and then we got this one as well. So just breaking down the colorway. If you guys haven't seen a video review from me, we're going through traction, cushions, support, materials fit, all that good stuff. And before we get into that, leave a like, hit that subscribe button. Let's go. Oh yeah, I really wanted a different colorway in the KD3s. These ones have some different materials along the upper, which I like about them. Um, different colorway knots here, the KD3s. They didn't, again, if you guys didn't see that last video from me with the KD3 breakdown, they didn't change too much from the old KD3s. It wasn't really like a pro it was more of just like a retro bringing the colorway back in the shoe. Tech specs are really similar to the old stuff, but it's a very solid old Nike basketball shoe, so that's why I wanted to break them down again. Traction is that old retro herringbone, which has always been best for outdoors and indoors. And this traction is super sticky. It feels really nice. Dust collection was very minimal. Um, it's not gonna break down very much because it's just like that solid like herringbone. This stuff, as I just said, plays really good outdoors if you're trying to hoop in these outdoors. That's a good characteristic of like old Nike basketball shoes. Good outdoors, great indoors. And so that's one aspect I really liked about them. Another thing I really liked about the traction on the outsole is I feel like it covered all kind of parts of the shoe very well. It allowed for like a lot of good traction and support through like from the heel all the way up to the toe and like padding like wise like it helps medial and lateral that it's just like kind of like a wider base the curvature is really nice and i feel like that kind of medial plate in there helps really well with traction as well the cushion you got four foot zoom all around and then the classic nike zoom so yeah four foot zoom all throughout here that's patent nike zoom material or cushion is super nice on here combined with the traction pattern feels really good it doesn't really take much to like break them in like off the bat. I feel like Nike basketball is really good like with their older kind of zoom stuff and as, as well with that traction pattern as it just combines really well and it plays super nice. I loved how they felt right off the bat, not very restrictive, nothing like super excessive about them. You did have, like I mentioned a little bit with the traction, the midfoot shake plate. It's just kind of like that hard piece in there. It feels really good. You can kind of see a little bit here on the lateral side as well. That just kind of keeps you more supported, keeps you grounded and it adds a little more support and stability to the shoe in the midfoot area which i love i mean it's a classic old nike basketball shoe so they didn't change anything up there but it's still really solid materials include synthetic leather and fly wire materials around the shoe so i mentioned this in the last video with the kd3s but this fly wire technology was huge for nike back in like the hyper dunk days those shoes were going crazy and Katie wants some Flywire Nike in these ones. I love the technology here. I feel like it's super good. Like it's a good like supportive construction along the upper as the Flywires help with a lot of that aspect. And then these ones with this leather here, the synthetic leather, it's kind of like suede -y. like it's soft. It's like super breathable with the tongue being mesh as well. And I kind of like that. Those That red pair has a little more like holographic details to it, a little more paneling like that and I feel like this construction with the softness plays really well on foot so like in comparison I prefer this kind of style on foot I feel like it's more breathable it's less restrictive um, I'm not a big fan of like that kind of like scratchy like like textile or like mesh stuff but this super soft like leather is super nice so I really like the materials here fit this is a basic one and this is somewhere I messed up with my red KD3s is I went up half a size um, and that was a big mistake, definitely go true to size. I got true to size on this pair and they fit a lot better. And I like how they fit with like the tongue. I feel like the Achilles and like ankle height and the like collar is constructed very well. So you don't really need to go up a half size at all. I feel like there's no dead space. So I say true to size. Finally support, I was talking a little bit about it with the fit, but like the collar cutout is very nice on here. I don't think it restricts you very much. The ankle height isn't too bad. It might be a little prominent in like parts here. This is kind of a little bit high on the ankle, but it feels really good. And the best part about it is the uniform tongue also plays really well like that. There's, there's just not an excessive like amount of stuff. That's what I love about the old like KD, like Nike shoes. I just love how simple things are and 
One thing that they did kind of have here is they kind of started to tinker with little strap ideas on the KD3s. And so KD4s, which should be coming out this year, hopefully a couple of colorways next year too, have that KD strap on there. Classic shoe, hopefully get those ones into review too, but those ones are crazy. These ones support wise do a really good job. Traction given an eight and a half out of 10. That is just a super solid outsole. You can play outdoors, indoors, and I love how it feels on the court. Cushion, we're giving it an eight out of 10, almost eight and a half. Like it's basically the same and it works really good. That Nike Zoom with the uh, herringbone out here. And I think possibly like if we could get a full length strobel like pro tro on these bad boys. I'm just saying they might go crazy on here, but I still really like the traction and the cushion. Materials eight and a half out of 10. They're pretty solid for me. I love how breathable, soft they are. They feel nice on the foot. They're not restrictive at all. And the flywire cables help keep you in to the shoe as well. So I really like the materials. Fit and support, we're giving both an eight out of 10. They're pretty solid for my fit and support. Not a lot of dead space and not a lot of stuff restricting movement with the KD3s. And overall, glad I got another colorway. There was like that white, like hemp colorway also that came out. I don't remember the colorway name specifically, but those ones came out too. So if you guys wanted to get a KD3, they got three colorways out now. Hopefully more coming soon. Hopefully some more models. I love that Nike's bringing back the old shoes, but let me know what you think about these bad boys down in the comments. We'll see you on the next one.